15 minutes of Game Day Uncensored. Remember, you get Game Day Uncensored four hours prior to every Dolphins game this season. And the uh, the regular season will begin in earnest in September. So week one for the Dolphins, they're at the Chargers. The line right now, Dolphins plus three. It had been two and a half when we first started looking at it. You still have, you know, a week and a half, two weeks to to get there. But uh, it's Dolphins plus three. You want to guess the over-under on the game, Crowder? Oof, 49. 51 right Ugh. now, which I would love. I love a high-scoring game, and I think the Dolphins have a decent defense, even without Jalen Ramsey. So for me, 51 is accounting for a lot of Dolphins points, not just Chargers points, right? I mean, that that yeah. you have to look at the way Vegas is looking at it, right? They're pretty much saying to you that the Dolphins' offense is going to be able to keep up with the Chargers' offense. Now, again, Chargers are favored, but Chargers aren't going to hang – 42 points on this defense, are they? No. And that's what I was thinking. My whole thought was a 40, a 24, 23 game, something like that, you know, mid 40s. And the over under be right there, 50. But I would go under that because everybody gets excited. The two quarterbacks and oh, yeah, coming back. And this, the defenses are ahead of the offenses usually early in the season. So I, I don't know. I would expect that one to go under. The only thing I would say is the remember the the game two preseason when that Dolphins offense was clicking. Tua comes out, throws a pick on the first pass, and went, uh, then they come back. That offense went through the defense like butter. Yeah. And I kind of feel like when this offense is clicking, we saw it last season, that they're a force to be reckoned with. And I feel like Everybody's got a couple of weeks now. Clean up all the dings. Get out there. Four o'clock game. You'll have uh, game day uncensored at noon on that Sunday, Solana. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I kind of feel like the Dolphins will put up some points. I wonder if there's a uh, what? total 51? on just the Dolphins. I would take the Dolphins. Just you the Dolphins it? over. So the Dolphins go, what you say, 28 yeah. Dolphins go 28. So now the Chargers have to score, what, 20? Uh, bad math like you, 23, 24? You say so. I don't see with Bradley Chubb, with Jalen Phillips, with Christian Wilkins now playing for a contract and mad as hell. Ogba's still there. Wow, come the on, new though, Justin Herbert, he's getting better now. Bro, I mean, what is he I in know. year three now? Year four? I Your guess buddy, year four. Yeah, it was two. He can slang that biscuit, but he can't slang that biscuit when he's sitting on his butt. I think he's going to have hell. I think the Dolphins, the, the Dolphins quarterbacks they play are going to have hell in their pocket with this pass rush. So, Lana, how do you see game one? We're a little ways away here, and I'm more focused on uh, on the Canes this week, but how do you see uh, game one playing out? Just a, a couple weeks away, giving you the right to change your mind as we get closer. Is Teron Armstead healthy? Is he playing? Yes. Game one, he's healthy. He's going to play. And this is assuming no Jonathan Taylor, right? Mm. Okay, I, no Jonathan Taylor. Hawk, I would imagine, by the way, if the Dolphins were to trade for Jonathan Taylor, that line would shift in Miami's favor, right? Right. No, definitely not in his favor. De definitely not in their, in their favor. Maybe to two and a half. But I, I don't think a running back in today's day and age is going to move more than a half point. Wow. No, yeah. we, we, we did this exercise before. Starting quarterbacks move a line two points. Right. Like there there's I, I would say maybe, just maybe, it goes to Dolphins two and a half, and maybe the over under goes to fifty two or fifty one and a half. Yeah, I I'm I'm not too high on this team after preseason, honestly. Really? I think I think Tua's gonna have a good season. Like I'm not doing the durability stuff. Um, but Man, like their their depth. Omar Kelly has kind of opened my eyes. Maybe it's because I'm spending so much time with Omar Kelly, who usually yeah, don't is a, don't let don't let that mm -hmm. happen to you, yeah, Solana. Yeah. Who, who usually is a half glass empty kind of guy, and I'm not usually like three quarters glass empty. But he's he's <laughs> opened my eyes. He's opened my eyes to how much the Dolphins are lacking depth, and you're going up against Justin Herbert, who. You know, last year the Dolphins didn't look good. 
that was that first game where we finally started to see somebody had schemed properly against McDaniel's offense. Dolphins couldn't move the ball. So I don't remember who it was that we talked to, maybe Safa Dean a couple weeks ago. He said he thinks this Dolphins team is going to struggle the first three, four weeks of the season until they finally get their legs under them and start clicking. And I, I happen to agree with that, man. Like, I, I don't think we're going to see this dynamic, unbelievable offense week one with the Dolphins. Kind of feel like we will. I think it's going to play out opposite. I feel like they're going to click the first few weeks, kind of like last season, and then the injuries start to take hold. And then maybe you see the depth problem that Omar's talking about. But who's week two? Is that New England? Yeah, New England. Not easy. It's not an easy. Well, pretending like New England something. I, I'm so used to doing that. New England. So we got a Patsy in week two. Got a cupcake. Let got a me, Boston cream pie. Let me tell y'all what I told you last year. And I know where football is, Hawk. And I know why you love taking overs because offense is king right now. The Dolphins last season, if you look at the numbers, they were a defensive team. This season, you add Vic Fangio, you add Bradley Chubb with now a full camp to load up. I know uh, uh, Ramsey's hurt, but you still got X over there. You have both of those young safeties coming back in Jones and Holland. Bro, the Dolphins are a defensive team. I don't care what y'all want to believe. This is going to be led by their defense, and I don't see people scoring 30 points on this defense with this much talent. Isn't there like a grace period, though? Vic Fangio comes in, and this team has to be able to really acclimate themselves to the type of defense that he's running, plus the injuries. Like, you're asking a lot from, from guys like Kater Kohu. He played great last year, but you're asking a lot from guys like Kater Kohu and Eli Apple to fill the shoes of a Jalen Ramsey. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think it's it's maybe setting us up for failure to expect this Dolphins defense to be uh, really, X, really X, good. Chubb be Chubb. Wilkins be Wilkins. And that's the thing. Like, this Jalen Ramsey injury sucks. I understand it. I'm with you. How many plays did you see Jalen play in the Dolphin uniform there, Solana? The answer is zero. The same guys we had last year on the other side of X are the same guys we have this year on the other side of X. With addition to it, you had young Cam Smith and some, and some um, you know, free agents. Their front seven. David Long is a run stopper. Now you can move Jer uh, Jerome Baker back outside where he was making big plays two years ago. Last year he went in the mic and ain't make a damn play all season. This defense is about to be very, very good, bro. This front four, I put them against any front four. Their, their pass rush is against any pass rush in the NFL right now. Okay, but then uh, your DBs, Javon Holland and Xavier Howard. We're, we're, we're cool with them. We're totally yeah. comfortable. Okay, who's playing alongside... Javon Holland right now. Who is it? Deshaun Elliott? You're comfortable with Deshaun Elliott as your free safety? Yeah, but you're not going to have I a pro bowler at, at all 11 spots. Like, that's that's not fair either. And, and he's not a big yourself. name. You, you said he, st he started for the, he started for the, the Lions. Trip. This he Lions last year. Yeah. He can yeah. play ball. But like you said, is it Ed Reed, Solana? No, hell no. It's not Ed Reed. Right. But those guys. And then it's like where you're saying like Vic Fangio, take time to acclimate to a system. Vic Fangio has coached 18,000 different defenses and teams. He knows how to get guys on the same page. He knows how to, hey, front four, go get them. I have to protect this guy. I can leave X. I'll tell you one thing. I know he sat down with X and said, X, you might as well not wear draws to the game because you're already going to be butt naked all game long. You have their best receiver. Xavier and Howard will be on Keenan Allen week one. Everybody knows it. Keenan Allen knows it. X knows it. Like, he has the pieces to make it very special. And all he has to do is get one-on-ones with one of these damn um, outside edge rushers. Jalen Phillips, everybody you talk to, they're calling him unblockable this season. That dude's going to have Jay four sacks game one. Jalen's going to have oh, – no. see, see how y'all – I'm talking to me. He's he, he going to jump now. He's throwing up the U. Jalen will have double-digit sacks this season, well into the teens. My In man how many games? Ball. <laughs> Three. 